and welcome back to episode two of my birdsong lessons. Uh, we're carrying on where we left off, we're meeting songster number two. Uh, before we do that, if you just want to go back and check out my introduction video where I recommend some apps and some websites and some useful tips when you're starting out to learn birdsong. And of course, if you want to have a look at episode one, that was featuring the gorgeous blackbird and it might be useful to watch that if you've not already because there are going to be some comparisons between the blackbird song and today's songster. So once again, we'll jump right in. Uh, you'll have already seen who the songster is today and it's possibly the most iconic bird in Britain, the one that we all know. You know, you think of a bird, this one will generally hop to mind. Synonymous with Christmas, it is the red-breasted robin. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, beautiful little creatures. And the reason they are so well known is because, I suppose it's to do with their character, really. They're really fearless, cheeky, bold birds, very, very brave, and they will often come really up close to you. Now, interesting fact, if you're a nerd like me, it's very interesting. <laughs> is um, the reason robins are so bold is because they co-evolved within Europe with the wild boar. Now, they're obviously really, really good at rootling in the soil, digging it all up, turning it over and exposing juicy, tasty worms, which is exactly what the robin's after. Um, now, obviously, in the UK, most areas are devoid of wild boar now. There are a few little populations. But where they are not, we are the replacement pigs, I'm afraid to tell you. We are the pigs to the robins. So if you see a robin, kick at the ground a little bit and you can almost see them going, ooh, worms. <laughs> So they're funny little things and for that reason they can be so bold as to feed from the hand which is obviously a very magical experience if you like Snow White. Now the Robin song is just gorgeous and you're going to learn I'm going to say this about every song but this one really is. Um, it's really melodic and sweet, beautiful song and it's quite an easy one to pick up because Robins do sing for most of the year. Um, now they have a little bit of a quieter period at the back end of summer when they molt, they tend to go into the shadows and just hide away, not draw attention to themselves. The rest of the year they're very, very, very territorial. They can be quite vicious with each other um, and for that reason they sing a lot. Um, they're often the first one to start singing in the morning and the last one to stop at night. And in areas of high artificial light, so our cities and our towns, they can actually just sing round the clock. So I hear robins regularly about half past three, four o'clock in the morning. So even in winter, even in January now. So really regular songsters. Now to identify their song, again, we're gonna look at the tone, we're gonna to look at the structure and some fun ways to remember it. Once again, I've got this sound recording off of Xena Canto, the amazing website I mentioned in my introduction. Thanks very much to my friend, Tony Whitehead for letting me use his amazing recordings. So Robin, here we go, let's dive on in. Now you might already be thinking this sounds quite familiar and that's because they're singing all the time everywhere. Um, now the robin I like to compare to the blackbird because it follows a similar structure. It has that little melodic sing song bit and then it pauses. So sing. A little bit longer than the blackbird's phrases and then pause and it'll sing and pause. So play that again. Sing, pause, sing, pause. Listen out for that. Now if you compare it to the blackbird it's much, much higher pitch. It's A lot of people describe it as having a sweet tone. It's very sweet um, and it's very, very melodic. So the little phrases that it does sing are just really cute, really sweet, really melodic. Think of it as like a little devil and it's trying to present itself as a little angel because it's cheeky and very territorial and boisterous, but it's presenting this cute little image on top. Okay, so I said I was going to compare it to the blackbird. So again, if we listen to that high pitched tone of the robin, Get it in our heads it's that really sweet sound as i said sing pause sing and if we pause that and just listen to the blackbird in comparison so that much deeper tone and the way i remember the difference between the two is i mentioned in my previous video the blackbird is like an old bloke just mindlessly whistling so if you imagine he's a granddad potting around at the bottom of the garden and then if we compare that to the robin that's like a little kid following his or her granddad round trying to imitate that whistle, so the copycat. So imagine just that child's tone, it's that much higher, that much just compared to the, the lower whistle. I can't do a whistle that high. So that's how I remember it. So blackbird, old bloke, robin, kid following it round, but they both have that similar-ish structure in the sings and the pauses and just the lovely melodicness in between. So there you go, robin. Hopefully that was nice and easy, nice and quick, done and dusted. Um, like I said, Robin should be one that you should absolutely be able to hear all the time at this time of year. You know, stick your head out the window if you're up at 5am for some reason and you'll probably hear one. Now, as always, I'm really keen to hear how you guys remember birdsong. If you've got a funny way of remembering, please share. 
because as I mentioned, people learn in completely different ways and what I'm saying might be just nonsense to you. If there's any questions that you've got or anything you'd like to hear a little bit more about, let me know in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed and following, please do because I'll be carrying on the rest of this bird song journey, adding new songs as we go along into spring. Spring, it's nearly here. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and see you again soon.